Hello, future parents. Welcome back to Friendly Health, your guide to everything pregnancy and beyond. You've probably seen those black and white pictures, but what do all those abbreviations mean? Let's explore. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you will get all of our upcoming videos. Ultrasound scans provide a fascinating glimpse into your baby's world during pregnancy. But the report's numbers, letters, and terms can seem like a foreign language. GS, CRL, Florida, BPD, HC, AC, FHR, EFW. It's a lot, right? But don't worry, we're here to break it down for you. First up, GS means gestational sac. The first visible structure in early pregnancy ultrasounds is the gestational sac, often seen as a small black bubble. It contains and protects your growing embryo. Next, we have CRL, short for crown rump length. It measures your baby from the top of their head, crown, to the bottom of their buttocks, rump. It's used in early pregnancy to estimate your baby's age and expected due date. It's the best parameter to date a pregnancy. FL stands for femur length. It measures your baby's thigh bone and helps assess their growth and development. For example, a longer femur may indicate a taller baby. BPD, biparietal diameter. It's a fancy term for measuring your baby's head, precisely the distance between the sides of their head. BPD measurement helps estimate your baby's expected delivery date in the early second trimester. It can also be used to estimate the fetal weight. HC is head circumference. It's another head measurement, but it's around this time. Like BPD, it helps in estimating fetal weight and growth. AC, or abdominal circumference, measures around your baby's belly. This measurement helps evaluate your baby's size, growth, and position. FHR stands for fetal heart rate. This is the baby's heartbeat per minute. It's a crucial indicator of your baby's well-being. And finally, EFW, estimated fetal weight. As the term suggests, it estimates how much your baby weighs in the womb. It's calculated using a combination of the other measurements we've discussed. And there you have it. So the next time you're at an ultrasound appointment, you'll be able to understand these terms and feel even more connected to your little one's journey. Thanks for watching. That's it for today's episode, guys. If you found this video helpful, 